What's up, y'all? Hope you got your snacks, a little drink, maybe you rolled up, whatever the case is. It's Thursday, and we about to get into some hot topics. I ain't even gonna play the intro because I'm gonna give you this beat. Because, unfortunately, Courtney Stewart couldn't be here. So I had to bring my homegirl. Sensei don't play. What up, Bo? Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys. This has been so long. I'm feeling a little rusty, but you know what? I'm bringing the juice. Okay. She's sipping. And it's going to be a good show. So I'm excited to be here. Boom. And this was a little track we worked on back in the day. Be that bitch. Be that bitch. So yeah. All right. Well, happy Thursday, y'all. Let's get into some things. First and foremost, we get a start. Because last week we did a whole thing on Kate Middleton. And then the oh, next day they released that she just had cancer. That she got cancer. Listen. Still listen, skeptical. I... Still I skeptical. missed this whole Kate Middleton, like, conspiracy. Like, I, I missed it all. And then I finally got caught up at, on it. I'm like, why does everyone keep talking about Kate Middleton? Like, I'm so confused. Why is everyone still talking about her? And then I went down the rabbit hole. And then literally three days later, she's like, I have, you know, cancer or whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? So like, I wasn't really following, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I wasn't so deep into it. I just I, love it. I mean, I didn't even, first I heard Kate Mills. I'm like, who is that? I was trying to- Exactly, I had to look it up too. <laughs> <laughs> so then I seen who we was talking about and I was like, oh, right. okay. And then I seen the pictures and I was like, oh, you know, I, I will show me a conspiracy and give me a shovel. I'll start digging. Shout this out to y'all in the chat. What up, Grace Gale? I'll be from the I mean, East literally, Coast. I'm not checking for the royal family. I didn't know she went missing. Like, no. Listen. And who knows? You know what I mean? I still be on my my um little conspiracy theories. But we got Beyonce coming out as soon as this is over. We gonna get. I can't wait till I've already heard the album because I was on TikTok and it was already released yeah. in Australia and all that jazz. Is that so, why TikTok is going to get um canceled because they're no. out here streaming music shouldn't be streamed yet? No, TikTok gonna get canceled because they putting people onto information that the government doesn't want us to be put on. Yeah. Um, okay. But it was pretty deep. But speaking of New Zealand, actually, because you were you liked watching the Traders, right? I did. Well, I did. so Traders okay. UK is already up season two. You guys can go watch that. But I just saw that season one of a new Traders New Zealand is out. So I like the Australia one. I, Australia season one, you want to have like a full storyline with the ending that will make you like. Uh. Who are the people that they use? They're like, just is regular it people. From their reality show? Oh, they're just regular no, people. It's just, yeah, not, honestly, that's how I found out about tra Traders. So, what I like about the American one is it's like Big bro Celebrity Big Brother mm -hmm. in that kind of essence. But, like, yeah. I don't know. There is, you still get the same energy watching. Right. Regular the, people do it. So I'm interested I mean, that can't make sense because there's so much like suspense in that show, regardless. And it almost makes it better because you know. it's like with the celebrity ones, you can kind of, it's like we've seen these people on TV, so you kind of know how they act versus like a whole house with strangers and you don't know who's it's a liar true. or whatever. Exactly. So it's kind of, oh my it almost gosh. is a little it's more. Probably TV. even more. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, when I tell you season one, Australia, the I ending is wild wild oh my god like, and these people have nothing to lose nothing no, to lose literally and that's the story <laughs> of season <laughs> one australia uh so oh check god. out new zealand as well that came out also news uh did you watch uh house of villains you know what i didn't traders is actually the first spinoff show i've been watching with like all the different reality celebrities mm -hmm. um i did see like the teaser for house of villains but i was like you know what like i didn't even like the villains you know those were all the people i didn't really like them on, on the, the competition shows or on the reality shows so it was like i didn't really want to watch them you know what i mean because they were all the people that i just like couldn't stand you know what i mean right and so i was like i'm just not gonna give it my time Traders came out second season. The first season, I was like, mm, 
I don't need to see these people again on my screens. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But the second season, they had Phaedra, they had Sheree, they had CT, they had Trisha. I mean, it was a great group that they like booked together. So, yeah, I didn't give villains a chance. It was but good. It, well, honestly, like villains for me, instead of House of Villains, they should just give New York her own reality show again. Well, you know what? Before I get into House of Villains, let me just tell you that there is a rumor, and I'm kind of sure it's not a rumor because mm-hmm. honestly, I kind I felt like Nini was going to be the person that does this because usually with Zeus, whoever hosts a reunion on another show mm-hmm. usually ends up getting their own show. But there is a rumor that New York is going to do Charm School on Zeus. Oh. So. I don't know. Well, Well, there's a lot of girls on Zeus, honey, that need some schooling. And they don't need New York to do it. They need (laughs) Ayanna. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's who needs, they need a a fix. You know what? Listen, they're not here to fix nothing. They're here to keep a hot mess. So New York's the perfect person. Send her over to Zeus, baby. No, well, she been over there. She she chilling over there. Uh, Grayscale says, I'm excited for Camilla and Candy with New York, though. Yes. So here's the cast. We got Camilla from Bad Girls Club. Okay. Jesse from Big Brother. Candy from RuPaul's Drag Race, who I think will be very entertaining. Uh, okay. Larissa from 90 Day Fiance. She's going to be T. Richard from Survivor, Safari, and we oh. talked about his show that he got coming out. Oh, so and I saw that. the trailer for it. It's called For the Love of Safari. I can't. Um, Teresa Judice from New York. I mean, New Jersey Housewives. Mm-hmm. Tiffany so Pollard. Victoria from The Bachelor, who I don't know, but watching her clip, I was like, okay, she seems interesting. Uh, dark hair. Yes. And then Wes okay. from The Challenge. I'm into okay. it. And... I think Wes is a big villain. I mean, was I mean, is New York really a villain though? Like some of these people, I'm like, were they really villains, or they just have a crazy, like, outgoing personality? Um, I feel like New York is villain. Like, I mean, she messed with the girls on Flavor of Love, and oh, yeah. yeah, I would say, Wait, oh yeah, she doesn't spit on somebody. No, she got spit on. Oh, that's right. By the by short pumpkin. blonde girl. Oh, yes. oh, Lord. And speaking yeah, my of pumpkin, girl should be on it. That's the villain. Mm-hmm. I mean, who's spitting on somebody? Speaking no, of uh, villains and pumpkins, though, uh, Little Miss Honey Boo Boo. I know you guys, it's been a long time. I Why are we talking you. about her? <laughs> girl, she's in the news. She, what is her and her mama are causing drama on the TikTok. They is going live and complained about him i don't know i came across this clip and basically honey boo boo came out and she was sitting with her mom and okay. and pumpkin and basically was like uh all my money that i got from dancing with the stars where is it so apparently and like from her childhood and all this stuff and so she's trying to pay for college she's trying to pay mm-hmm. for her bills she lives in colorado i guess time. you said what she was on TV for a long time. Right. And we hear this a lot, like with child actors, like, mm-hmm. you know, the, the old, what was it? The Olsen twins, Amanda uh, Bynes, like mm-hmm. these child actors grow up. Their parents don't really have the tools. The I mean, mm-hmm. they look at like Britney Spears, right? And mm-hmm. so, I mean, Mama June, she did have her own show, but like it's because of Honey Boo Boo. Right. And you definitely should have saved some money out. Now I get yeah. like, well, okay, we was living. I mean, I remember they was putting like, instead of tomato sauce, they used ketchup mm-hmm. for spaghetti. But that oh like, that's God. what the mindset yeah. that they was living in. Mm-hmm. So I get like, okay, yes, honey, boo boo was young and you probably took them mm-hmm. out of wherever you were living and living a better life, but also right. money should have been set aside. And apparently there was, so basically, Honey Boo Boo says <laughs> she can't take her. I, 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 I don't remember what her name, real name is. But basically, <laughs> she came out and said that she can't take her mother to court because when a, a child actor is getting paid, there's mm-hmm. a certain amount that's recommended to put aside. And so it's only 20%. So the mom put 20% aside, but spent the mm-hmm. rest of it. Um, 
I don't that know. still should be a good amount. I mean, and at the end of the day, though, too, it's like she's probably paying for like school. I mean, there's probably so many other things that, you know, they were probably trying to provide for her when she I was mean, younger. Yeah, too. but then also like your mama got a whole body redone, her face redone. Oh, yeah. I mean, where's that money at? Like she should have definitely <laughs> she putting it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. oh, speaking of putting it somewhere else, too, is little huh? Miss Shannon from Real Housewives of Orange County is oh. being sued by her ex-man um john it's now, the john of it all for me it's john because it's like bro here's my thing we watched the show where pretty much it was implied that you were living off of shannon so yeah. then for now you guys to break up with each other and now you're coming after her talking about seventy five thousand dollars for a facelift it like who borrows money like you guys were together you know like i i don't know I, I think it's i mean this is my thing this is like why are you doing this now like you've already moved on to another housewife alexis okay and so it's like why now all of a enough. sudden oh yeah that's what i'm saying it's like oh you didn't want to be on the show you didn't want to be a part of the show but now you're with alexis and she's on the show but it's more I mean tea on alexis's end because it's like girl what are you doing Oh, she don't care. She's like, this is my man. I'm gonna stick beside him. Like, we're in love. Like, it's insane. But the fact, the fact, the fact of the matter is, is like he's still now going after Shannon. It's like, dude, move on, move wow. on. You oh, pay that seventy five. Thank, thank you, Grayscale. He said it's a Coogan account. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Um, and it does depend on the state. So, sorry, honey, boo boo, and. Uh, well, Oh, uh, shout out to Leon. <laughs> Leon, we got to get you in here one day. You got to come, come up, come on over to my place uh, from the Everyone is Lovely podcast. If you guys like this podcast, go check his Everyone podcast out. It's dope. Um, John Jansen is a goober. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, it, and also, it's like you bring up that it's for a facelift. Like, you're doing that purposely. You know it's that Shannon weird. deals with, you know, like you are a grown issues. man, like you are a grown her. man in a new relationship. You know, you need to be impressing this new woman in your life. Like you're well, over he, here. That's why he needs a 75K. Money. That's why he needs to say, he's like, I got to pay for Alexis now. Well, he needs to move out of the OC then. He needs to go somewhere else. I cannot. Um, also, Messi in Real Housewives of Atlanta world, Kim and Croy. So... Apparently, it's gotten so bad with all the tabloid stuff and how the videos that had surfaced a while ago of like them screaming at each other and the babies in the car um, <sighs> that now the court is saying that they have to pay for a parental fitness um, check, which they'll have to be evaluated. Everyone's going to get interviewed and... It's scary that we're in this place. And I feel like I go back and forth with Croy because it's like he's so young and I feel part of me feels bad for him. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you should have wa you should have watched Real Housewives of Atlanta at some point. You should have seen who you were dealing with. I don't know. I just feel sad for all of them. For the kids. Involved. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I mean, I feel like they were a, they were a really stable couple. I mean, yeah, Kim's a little crazy and whatnot, but it's like, I feel like I really thought they were in it for the long haul. I mean, I kind of just forgot about them, like, oh, they're in their happy world. And then all of a sudden just came down crashing. Like, yeah, I feel like he stepped up a lot as a man for her being so young and like taking on the kids and the, the kids before that they had kids, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel all around. I feel for the whole family. I, I don't know. To me, it's just sad. Hey, Tequila. Hey. Portia situa situation, on the other hand, is well, just... Well, go ahead, because now Portia is right here coming back to Real Housewives of, Atl of Atlanta, and um, <clears throat> all of a sudden you come back to Housewives, to and you ain't a housewife. And I'm confused, because... <sighs> Dustin said Big now, Papa, okay? I mean, did you hear that, like, Simon, like, did a season assist to Bravo, basically saying, you know, she can't film on the property um she you know shouldn't. basically right she can't talk about anything like it's just petty and i think it's uh, there it's just like it's just like you know what you was though. doing you like again like we said last week you knew what you was doing you know the type of person you ended up with that you took him from a similar situation and that was messy within itself and now again you're coming back on housewives 
and I have this thing about like I just want to see housewives. I want to see actual families. I want to see that that that's what the whole this is now gr- my girlfriends like at this. Point. I mean, that's what it's turning into. I mean, let's talk about. It. I mean, and we don't even need to talk about it. But Kyle and Mauricio, you know, they're about to be done. All these housewives are just becoming single, and they just want to be ready to mingle. I mean, uh, who else was it? Um, we saw so many people breaking up. Oh, well, even on there? over on Selling Sunset. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Um, um, I, I can't even. She wasn't on this last season. I can't even think of her name. But Chelsea, Chelsea, I remember her. Her and her man are split in from uh, Selling Sunset, and I didn't see that coming. I don't think anyone saw that coming. I mean, the thing with reality TV is, like, it's – you're putting your whole life in, on, on camera, and if it's not a mm-hmm. real stable relationship – you're, right. you know, or if you're just not on it for the right reasons, like listening to Mia and her man talk, it's like y'all are either y'all are so messy. You're either like should just stay together because you're perfect for one another, or okay. it's like move on. Like there are children. My thing is there's children involved, and that's what bothers me. And if you haven't listened yet, go listen to the next Mood Swing podcast where I sat with Julie from Bad Girls Club because we kind of touched on this, and her whole thing was. If you want to be single and you want to be on these shows, like do it. But like there are children involved and that that's the whole thing. It's like, again, what I loved about the Atlanta first couple seasons, it was about these families and seeing, you know, yeah. the wives of these families, how they balanced at home as well as with their friend group. And I think you that's what, what I like about Married to Medicine. But I was just about to say, we need a, another Married to Medicine. Like, we need we need more of that. <laughs> Dustin you know? says, now it's living single. <laughs> Period. Okay, we all live in single, 100%. I mean, and, I, you know, I wasn't even going to admit this today, but, like, talking about, like, relationships and couples, and everyone just laugh at me. Laugh at me now because I was watching the teen mom uh Uh, like the family like when they go on trips together and to be honest with you they're not teens anymore like they're like our age and they're like in real relationships and it's like they really be talking about you know them and their partners things that they need to work on communication things like that it's like teen mom more of that in housewives that's where teen mom should shift and their spinoff should be millennial mom and talk about like what it's like being a millennial mom like a lot of you know, people our age are now having yeah. kids or have had kids for a minute. And yeah. what is that life like when, you know, oh, I, yeah. I know some of my homegirls, they had kids and they're like mid twenties. So yeah. now they're and that's what it's into. It's right, like, but it's like now they're in their like later thirties and mm-hmm. or mid thirties. And it's like, they're they figured out a balance and now it's like well how do you step outside of that you know what i mean now your kids right. are a little older like what is that mom life like like i feel yeah. like that's so interesting that's my problem with reality tv and working in it i'm just like yeah. i'm so sick of the like forced story right lines. It's yeah just, like mm-hmm. i need the realness and honestly team mom be given some realness it's the um the vacation one like when they're all together they go on trips and stuff you know they might have some knowledge for y'all in all these long relationships, you know. I'll have to check it out, but I've never really been a teen mom person, so. Yeah, but that's why, because I watched it from the beginning, and actually, um, Cheyenne, she was on the challenge, and she had a kid with Corey, who was on the challenge, mm-hmm. so it kind of, like, spins off to that, but then they have the other people that have been on Teen Mom forever, but anyways, it's just, you know, talking off of, like, real, li- like, life, you know, mm-hmm. like, married to medicine and stuff. Well, what up, Broken Arrow? You're late, but you're here. That's all that matters. Make sure you guys hit that Ooh. like button. Okay, if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and no- that little notification bell and all that stuff. Uh, all right, so we talked about traders. So now, <clears throat> Vanderpump. Let's just talk mm-hmm. about it because shout out to Ariana. Um, I saw, you know, I love me some Love Island. Um, and she's going to now replace and be the host of Love Island. She did do a guest spot on Love Island Games. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't love her energy, but I think, you know, with time, I also just love the UK host. So I think with time, I think this will be a great way for her to branch out. And I hope, 100%. I truly, truly hope that she leaves Vanderpump because it's so awkward. You know, I beg to differ. Okay. Because her and Katie are thriving. I want to see more about something about her when they open. 
Honestly, I'm exhausted. Okay, but here's my thing about them opening. On trying to make it work for the group, trying to make it work. Like, I'm over it. Like, I want to see people excel and exceed, like, on the show. Like, there's always been the same drama. There's always been the same storylines. Always be the same crying about the same things. Like, you know, we can actually see some people elevate on the show. Yeah, okay, and I hear that. But my thing is, is... Elevate. Don't mm-hmm. stay on the same platform. Like, Tom's not going to go anywhere because this mm-hmm. is all Tom has. Now, Ariana, you've done Dancing with the Stars. You're doing... Uh, I get that. Here's my thing. They say they're opening the sandwich shop. I'm going right. to tell you, I drove by it. <laughs> I drove I by like. it, like, when I first they moved out here. When did they say that? Like June. It was like recent. They said it was going to be opening in June. Okay, because it looks crazier than it did when I first saw it. At first I saw it, they had an awning. The sign was up. Now right. it looks like, oh, are we done with that? Like, Something I don't know. about fib. <laughs> they <God>. fib it. <laughs> Wait, okay, but I get it. Or maybe they should have their own spinoff or something. Because I do want to see them succeed and thrive. And, you know, but good for her, honestly. If she can get out of it and she can just start hosting and doing Broadway shows and things like that, girl, go ahead. I mean, I like, can't be mad. And I can't be mad either, like, her reaction, like, in this la- in the la- last episode where Tom, like, came up and was like, hey, did you get my email? Like, <laughs> and she's just not... And I, I get like it. I get it. I get it. But it's also like it's cringy at this point and on both ends he's because cringy. He's, he's cringy. Cringy. But at the same time, it's also like you're on this show. You know this is going to happen. So you just pulling this stone cold Steve Austin. I don't know. I no, just, I'm here for it. I hate, I'm here I hate for seeing it because it, it's so much pain. In but it. it's, it's the, I know, but it's the realness. And it's like, if she ha- if she did try to have a conversation with them, I'd be like, okay, this is super fake. And it's like, Tom, why are you even trying to talk to her about that? Like, please go on with yourself. Like, okay. I am so over But him. what about uh, the Sheena and Schwartz makeout? I mean, Katie shouldn't be surprised. Like, there shouldn't be any more surprises. Um, I really like Katie. I love how she's like being a loyal AF friend to Ariana. I love her energy. I love how she just lets everybody knows what's up. But I think in this situation, she just should have been like, it is what it is. And I don't care because (laughs) it's messed up. Like, I think I would definitely have like trust issues with Sheena. Her and Sheena never really have been on the same page. So I think this is definitely gave Katie a reason to be like, oh yeah, there was a reason why I never liked you. You know what I mean? (laughs) But for Tom, like, Tom, I'm so done with you. Like you can make out with somebody. I just would not even care. Like, you know what I mean? But I definitely see like, I see why she's irritated with Sheena. Like that's just weird. I didn't want to tell you Mm. back then. Like girl, that's why I didn't like you. Dustin's asking, "Do we, what do we think about the Valley?" Okay, now I know you watched it, Nicola. So mm-hmm. I, wa- I, I tried. I really, I just, I don't know. I think it's because I didn't get into Vanderpump until the drama. Right. And, and see, I've been, at, I've been at it since season one. But I'm gonna let you go first. No, oh, Grand Dam says, "Oh, it's Sensei, don't play." He's showing up. I'm show here. Is. Um, okay, so, I'm feeling the rest dusting off a little bit. <laughs> dust yourself off and try again. Um, all right, so the Valley, I just, again, I wasn't into P- Vanderpump until all the drama went down. So then that's how I met everybody. Jax, I, I watched, okay, I watched Vanderpump when it first came out. Didn't love it. Disconnected from it. Um, and then I saw Jax on House of Villains. And now I'm watching this and I'm just... Mm. I mean, I okay, like that it's in the valley because I'm in the valley, but no, this is where I'm at. Maybe Lana I'm absolutely... needs to come over. <laughs> no, I'm. I did not want to see Jax Taylor on my TV again. I did not want to see Kristen on my TV again. I'm sorry. Like they were off Vanderpump Rules for good reasons, you know. I would have loved to see um, possibly some other faces, but they're not on the show. Um, I'm here for Brittany. But this last episode, how she was writing for Jack so hard, it's like, dang, girl. Like, now she gets it because apparently they're parting ways. But 
still in that moment, it's like, you're still trying to defend Jax, who literally is messy. The whole first episode is him trying to tell women what we should do, how we should even have kids. Oh, like, you know Kristen so well. Like, are you, like, trying to date Kristen at this point? Ooh. Why are you going so hard for her? And it's like, in the second episode, he's over here inviting her ex and not liking this guy, Luke. Like, if she, if you were a really good friend to her, she wants to have a kid with this guy, Luke, just support it. But no, it's Jax Taylor. He's never going to change. He's the most annoying, the most obnoxious. I did not want to see him ever again. Now, I'm here for these new couples. I feel like they're giving fresh faces. You know, I really love Daniel and Nia. I love their relationship. Okay. I feel as though he really is into her, which I mean, she's gorgeous. Like, and I caught the tea with she trained Rachel who had the affair and Tom and Ariana were at the pageant show that she trained her for. I was Ooh. like, what's he on that? Like crazy. Um, I love Janet and Jason. I feel like these new couples are going to be bringing the energy we need. Jax, Kristen, Brittany. I can't. See, Brittany, I'll see you the next season because you're going to be so much better without Jax. 1,000%. Okay. 1, I don't All think right. she knows how Maybe to I'll, I'll give them a couple more episodes to see if the other couples sway me. But, like, I think, like, yeah. the unique thing about the Valley being in L.A. and, like, living mm -hmm. here as long as – I mean, you, you lived out here, too. So it's, like, yeah. there are so many – reality stars influencers just known mm -hmm. people who have been on tv where i feel like that would have been really cool to because you know all these people from different shows they all hang out with each other they all interact it would have been cool right. to see some people from like the real world the challenge like and almost oh, in the real yeah in the real world you know what i'm saying like there's yeah. so many people out here chasing you know they may not be in relationships or whatever right. but this is called the valley so you know i i feel like i would have liked that route a little more but mm -hmm. we'll see i'll give them a chance just like i'm gonna give yeah. uh summer house martha's vineyard another chance yeah. oh the yeah first, we'll get into that <laughs> the first episode i'm like oh honey i just feel like it's giving for, they've been on TV and now they're like, how do we spice mm. it up? That's what it's right. giving me. Okay. And I don't know, but I like them. They're all familiar at this point now. I like that. What's his, what is his name? Um, isn't there. Um, oh, Silas. Silas. I, I mean, I hate that he had to, you know, the way why he's not on it, but right. I'm glad he's not on it. I, I don't like that. That's the reason, but I'm glad he's not on it. Cause yeah, his energy I was didn't not good. more of that. Now, my thing is, is I wish they would brought in new men, except Preston. I like Preston a really lot. I like him a lot. And I only say that is because they're in relationships. Right. Like, yep. I'm just trying to see, like, Summer House. Like, I'm trying to see, like, people connecting, kind of like the first season, you know? Like, the guys were single, well, you know, except for, I can't even remember his name. But he wasn't kind of single. He was talking to that girl at the end. And I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but I just Who, Amir? don't. No. Well, Amir has a girlfriend in real life. Like, right. I life know. Lives with All her. I was saying, I wish they would have kind of recasted some more singles. I feel like Alex is giving. He's just not giving his full self, I feel. Um, I feel like he gives on a fake facade for the cameras. Like he gives off this like, you know, I'm sober. I don't drink like. I'm this like easygoing guy. And I love that the girls are calling him out. Like, I love that that girl put. Well, that's um, why I like that he's on the show still. Because I really? feel like, yeah, like I feel like the whole like him, you know, and what's her summer and mm -hmm. like her recording him and him getting upset. Okay, about oh, that was weird. That was weird. Weird on her behalf, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's no, like, it's girl, you like him. So now in your confessional, you're over here talking about like, no, I'm just looking to fuck. Like, no. Because if he was just no, looking to like fuck him. and you wasn't trying to be string, you wouldn't be sending pictures to people. And because you wouldn't know what I'm You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it. I get it. You have a crush on him. He's handsome. He's 
we but love, I also feel like we love us some fuck boys, unfortunately. But, but I also feel like he could be a little bit more honest because he plays this like, oh, you know, I'm. I don't know. He just gives us a facade and it's like, well, I need more realness from you a little bit. I need more straight up answers. I need you to just be more blunt. You know what I mean? If you're going to be like that type of person, like I just need more. What is it? Big dick energy. Like, I don't know. Like he just gives very like. Interesting. I don't know. I'm into him. I think, I think it's, I think it's, it's entered the, to me, it's the most entertaining thing yeah. that out but of all the was whole given. group. Summer was given some, uh, what are the clinger vibes? Clinger, stage two. Uh, we'll, we'll say stage two. We're creeping up. We'll see where this mm -hmm. goes. Yeah. Um, and Jasmine's definitely pregnant. Oh. 1,000%. There's uh, no way. There's no way she's not. Or she might think that she might be. And that's why she's not drinking. Okay. Fair enough. That's now, this I'm was doing. shot. I believe last year they like shot the seasons back to back. I think they shot yeah. this last summer. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Let us know if what you guys are thinking about summer house. Are you into it? Are you not into it? Dustin, what are you thinking about the value you guys into it and not into it? Um, all right, let's get into Potomac because gosh, honestly, the clip, the clip for the reunion show uh, mm -hmm. popped up and I think that looks more interesting than this entire season of Potomac has been. Um, Agreed. And, but this last episode, you know, the last week they had that blackout. Like they stopped. They were at the um, Genie clothing mm -hmm. pop up, and uh, the cameras got taken down. And Deborah, mm -hmm. <laughs> little Cookie Monster, came over. And Fashions went, without fashion, honey. Fashion without fashion. And uh, little Miss Cookie Monster came over and wanted to tussle. Mm -hmm. And. Um, yeah, uh, I we they picked back up from that point, mm -hmm. and I've said this. I mean, go, go click a Potomac past anything. You can go back to the After Buzz days and click mm -hmm. this. Ashley is messy. Ashley never takes accountability. When she does take accountability. It's almost like she's one of those people like, I take accountability. And then once she says that, it's out the window. And it's like, well, I took mm -hmm. accountability. But you got to change your actions. Right. You want the mess to happen. like, And then to sit there and say, like, we're all grown here. Like, okay, we're grown. But at the same time, one, this is your friends. Right. This is your event. One, this is also yeah. your partnership with who's your friend, right? Giselle, you're right. allowing this to happen here. And you knew that that girl was going to say something because there ain't no way you and Deborah ain't have no phone conversations <laughs> talking about Candace. Oh, she's going to be there. Oh, she's going to be there. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Deborah was like, the next time I see Candace, I'm definitely letting her know what's up. You know she said that. 1,000%. And Ashley was like, oh, well, you know, I have this little event coming up and you should come on, you should come. Wait till the cameras go down and just say something to her. Like, I guarantee, guarantee that's what you know, happened. But I'm happy that and, Candace kept it cute. She did, but it, it was, and she did. And the thing that bothered me is they were really trying to reach for that bottle that Candace reached for. I feel like, you know, and that's my thing with Potomac. It's like, I wish they could all get along because it would be so much better. Mm -hmm. But I also understand, like, why... Candace isn't cool with Giselle. I mean, that whole season when she was coming after her man, it was like, I feel like Giselle stay reaching. I don't know. I'm just on that. Like, I'm kind of here for Wendy. I'm here for Candace. I'm here for that, like, friendship. You know, Ashley's okay. I just, I don't know. I was really actually impressed with Karen, though, how she, like, held it down for everybody. And she was like, we need to talk about this. Like, there is an elephant in the room. Like, they were all at the hospital. Like, you know, and so I'm glad they all kind of came together and agreed mm -hmm. on Deborah being the messy one, you know, and not Did Candace. they all? Because I feel like, like Ashley really didn't take accountability for that. I mean, she, again, in her, like... I do, I do think it was wrong. I do right. think, I agree, mm -hmm. but 
and it's, it's the sprinkles. It's the sprinkles of the butt, and it's the sprinkles of the, you know, Candace likes to talk. She likes to, you know, antagonize pretty much. And they always want to kept on saying, and she grabbed a bottle. What was she going to do with that bottle? It's like, why don't you guys just stick to the person who really started the whole thing? You know what I mean? But it's like they just try to find every little thing about her. And it just really bothers me because I, I truly feel like – um. Robin's just miserable. Well, and rumors yeah. she's not coming back to the show. Good. Good riddance. I would yeah. not care. And again, <laughs> she is like a- I said, look, let me tell you guys something from working in TV. I'll work with certain, you know, people who have never been on TV. Most of the shows, uh-huh. it's people that have never been on before. And in doing it throughout these years, I've kind of gotten to a place where I'm like, I don't know if I want to be a part of this because – when you work, you have to build these people's minds. You, It's almost like a mind control thing. Like It's like mm-hmm. we have to keep you in the world of mm-hmm. Potomac. We have to keep you in your character, whatever the, fa- the fact is. And there are people mm-hmm. who are made for t- reality TV. They know right. it doesn't bother them. It doesn't emotionally keep them up at night. Like, right. But then there's people who are not made for reality TV. I loved Robin her first season loved her loved her and one wanted them to work out loved her and yeah. then it just I'm... as the seasons got de- kept going she started playing a character because giselle is made for reality tv she knows how to push the buttons she knows how to be funny she knows how to key key she knows how to play it robin absolutely does not and robin piggybacked off of giselle and mm-hmm. it made her unlikable we like giselle for the mess because to I... be honest Without mm. Giselle, the sh- a lot of the stuff wouldn't be. But under. the most are all reaches, though. It's that's, like, but that's fine because then we spend, then we are seeing how messy Giselle is, right? And it causes this tension yeah. between the group. Where, and I don't think. Well, go I, ahead. Well, no, and where I feel like Ashley tries to do what Giselle does. But it's like, I actually believe in real life. I would probably be friends with Giselle in real life. But I think Giselle knows how to play it. I feel like I know Giselle knows how to play it on camera. And then off camera, she's yeah. she's like, oh, I, I ain't on camera. I ain't doing all that. Yeah. Where Ashley, I feel like, is really cool. And then you're playing this. Mm-hmm. You're not doing it the same way Giselle's doing it. You're trying to, but then you're like going pe- backpedaling. And it's like, I don't feel like Ashley is a genuine has an evil bone in her but you're playing mm-hmm. it mm, yeah. i definitely think she does really? she definitely has an evil bone in her there is so many things that we don't know about ashley that i swear i mean i do think she's a great mother i feel like she does put her kids first and things like that so when it comes to motherhood but i just feel like deep down deep down she's super messy and yes her messes are very messy um it was the uh, i rub michael's feet still comment for me oh. um <laughs> oh, just make me feel like it smells like <laughs> Doritos or, or Fritos. Yeah, one last <laughs> comment. One last like, comment. I like don't bugles. <laughs> not even. It's just like why do you want to? Why do you want to massage this man's feet? Mm. Oh, anyway. Um, one last comment though. It's it's the Robin for me because I don't feel like Giselle was the one that t- took her down. I just feel like Robin did not want to get real because Juan would not let her get real. And I feel like he took her down because she was like, she wants to be with him. She's going to ride for him and she's going to do what he wants to do. And she couldn't fully be vulnerable with the Juan situation. And she couldn't really. That's why you're not made for reality TV. Like if you you have any secret that is that big, you living with your secret. No, yeah. baby. Faye just said, you got to get out, <laughs> Apollo. I'm not living with this lie. No more. You know, get a California king bed. Bye. I'm here <laughs> he said, for it. got I locked love- up. Won't <laughs> let me out. So with Robin, it's like, I get it. And it's so, it is sad because I do have a love for her because I get it, girl. I've been there where you just want to stand right. by. And, and I can't even imagine yeah. being the father of your children. Like right. to have that tie. I mean, now I look back, I'm like, why was I attaching myself to that? As uh, what's her name, Miss Sarah would say, dusty sprinkle spray. But she gonna be there. She gonna be there with wine, honey. They ride until the wheels fall off, even though they already fell off. But they gonna keep riding like this. 
<laughs> the wheels blown off. No, no, he was at the hotel, <laughs> like just giving. He felt bad for this poor girl. Like, girl, what? Honey, I don't believe it. No, no, I don't. No. Either. And I feel like I, oh, no. It was at the beginning of this season, right, where all the girls kind of sat with her. It was Candace, right? Candace. I'm Giselle. sorry, y'all. My leg is like. Crampy. I know. I'm like, are you doing yoga over there? <laughs> Move it. Oh my gosh. This is the worst position of my life. Okay, go on. But yeah, they, they're they just, mm, I can't. I can't. Juan's a liar. Juan's a liar. <laughs> and and at, this point, at this point, Robin, you a liar too. Um, we did see a, I saw a clip where they, all the girls from Real Housewives in New York announced that they are coming back. Gosh, I wish I got into it. The, of the new girls? I like them honestly. I I That's feel funny. like yeah. At first, at first I really liked it the first season, mm -hmm. the, the beginning, and then I kind of dipped out of it. And then Courtney was yeah. like, "No, you got to catch up." And so then I caught up, and I like okay. I, I like their relationships because it it gives me well, I grown guess grown women who they, they did a good job of casting. I feel like with New York. Well, and I'm here for that, but I just never been a New York castle, even with the OGs. Ramo oh, Ramona and them. Yeah, like even with the OGs, like I've never been like I want to watch the New York Housewives. Like they were always on the bottom of my list, so that's why I don't th think I even gave the reboot a shot because I just never was like a New York Housewife fan. Okay. I was in New Jersey. New well, Jersey. That's all what day. I mean. I, I feel honestly, I feel like you would like this if. Because, again, I love the original New yeah. York. Like, I never watched it until maybe a couple of years ago. That was the only se yeah. season I had a uh, spinoff I hadn't watched. And then I went back and did a binge watch. And, and I, I loved Bethany, Jill, all of them um, mm. on that season. But they are characters. Like, Ramona is a mm. legitimate cartoon character. Sonia, oh, Ramona, I can't remember that. Luanne, Sonia. Yeah. I like Sonia, Luann, and on, the only reason I know these two is um, when they do the the Housewives uh, Ultimate Girls Trip. Uh huh. I love that because you get to see them in different elements. You know what I mean? I need to. We need more of those shows. We need yeah, more of those. I, shows. I like that. I, I truly do like the girls' trip stuff. I hate that we didn't get um, the one with Brandy this season because of whatever happened. Uh, but I am interested in okay. this. It's going to be on Amazon Prime. Mm. And it's kind of the opposite of House of Villains. It's called The Goat. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, not really a strong cast, an interesting cast, I'll, I will say. So the host is Daniel Tosh. And basically, it's people from Bachelor, Survivor, RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, they're going to move into a manor. Uh, Daniel Tosh is going to host it. They'll do 20 challenges uh, where they could break their trust or make money together. They battle for 200K as the title of the greatest reality star of all time. Mm -hmm. The people are Tasha Adams from The Bachelor, Joe Amble from The Bachelor and Dancing with the Stars, Kristen from Vanderpump, Reza from Shaza Sunset, CJ Franco from F Boy Island, Wendell from Survivor, Tech from The Real World. That's a throwback. Oh, he's so funny. Uh huh. Justin Johnson, Alyssa Edwards from Drag Race, Paola Mayfield from 98 Day Fiance, Devon Rogers from Big Brother, Joey Sasso from The Circle. He's funny. I like him. Jason oh, yeah, Smith, Joey. Uh, from Holiday Baking. Like, okay, what? Lauren <gasps> Speed, like who casted it from this? I mean, this is what I'm saying. I and mean, then, you can and then Jill from Real Housewives of New York. The fact that to see Jill, Jill just this is this is where I know casting was just like, well, we got to go to the bottom of the barrel to try and put this show together mm -hmm. because Jill on a challenge show, please stop. Like traitors, maybe, but what on this? No. I mean, this is my thing. It's like, okay, I, I love the circle and like the Netflix shows and things like that, but it's like I feel like they need to stick to like certain like 
I don't know, like e- either like different hubs, but I'm also like feeling some type of way about like all these different like reality shows that are coming out and they're just trying to grab all these like has-beens on all these shows. You know what I mean? Which some of them aren't has-beens. I will say I do like some of them, but I'm like, I feel like these reality shows are kind of becoming forced. I mean, Traders was interesting, right? There was like mystery behind it. I feel like the goat's going to be a little bit like these games are going to be really cheesy. Like even though Trader games were cheesy, but it's still like the whole, the mind game of it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's kind of like making a mockery of like, these reality stars because they put these stupid challenges and well, it kind and that, of just makes again that's what i like with the traders i like the traders because i feel like it's a mind game it's a murder mystery it's there yeah some of the stuff is really active but it's funny like yeah. to see phaedra like getting swooped up yeah. in a, a net in a tree or yeah. like the first season with um oh my god she was in the second one too oh my gosh from I know, deck. So um, oh yeah um, oh that's yeah and um isn't it kate middleton kate no not kate middleton but kate yes um <laughs> the first season of traders kate when they pour those bugs on her and i forget the woman who won the show when they poured the they did it in the second season but the first mm-hmm. one was the amount of bugs they poured on her, like hilarious it was so funny like that's the kind of stuff that I want to see them do. I don't want to see these like super active. I don't want to see middle-aged women doing super active. Like I don't want to see Phaedra jumping from raft to raft. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like keep that for the yeah, challenge. Definitely. Like I, I'm, right, that's I'm, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they the challenge has been so successful that a people are trying to ride off of that and and, and they if just, you do do that kind of challenge, pick those kind of people. Like yeah. there's how yeah, many ba- how, there's how many bachelors or guys from Love Island or like get that if you're gonna do that a lot of them yeah, now I mean, that they have the Love Island like, games those bachelors don't want to be doing these like <laughs> these games you know but they, they do they, they you know that you they li- all live out here they're all trying to get on the next thing they're all trying to be influencers so if there's a show involved yeah they want to be back on TV that's why they go on back on these dating shows Love Island is like this circle of like you film it i can imagine working on it and being like none of these people want to date they just know each other and they're like oh we'll hook up this season like it's that kind of mentality it's not like oh i love their love and they're you're voting we're voting for their love they stop please stop yeah you know so it's like you know but i do love jill i love jill from real housewives in new york i do love bethany i i want to see them do things you know what i mean and i don't mind yeah. if there's like a little thing like uh, amazing race celebrity version that's why i love celebrity big brother i feel like mm-hmm. those challenges are more puzzle kind of ch- it's not like yeah. a tug of war like this yeah one, i mean what that's kind what of I'm saying. Like, you and i'm like and i'm like first of all it's like a, the go like and they over here doing these lame challenges but okay i'm gonna let i'm gonna let them figure it out <laughs> you're know. calling it the goat and no one mm-hmm. no one that i just listed off is in the running for the goat. i don't see oh, no okay. lebron <laughs> or lebron's in there <laughs> there's no lebron's it's <laughs> i don't watch basketball so i can't even give you who <laughs> who it is i mean that's, i mean i me either but i mean lebron james everyone knows him period um, all right, yeah, and then all I got on my chart right now is the Beyonce album tonight. Also, I'm really excited, Dochi and JT. I've really grown to love JT so much. Justin Timberlake? So, no, absolutely. Oh. Not. <laughs> oh, you're talking about JT from the City Girls. <laughs> yes, I can't. Not Justin Timberlake. I just watched the new uh, Trolls movie the other day. It came out on Peacock, so. Oh, I, yeah, it was replaying look peacock getting at this point yeah. i just can shut everything else off and peacock mm-hmm. can take all my money because Literally. okay i'm my bad i'm sorry and, and i'm like why would jt even do a song with Do- i mean maybe they would actually he's been collabing with some people that have been like you know, he's trying to get back he's trying to get back in his black vibe no but jt and dochi because jt's doing this whole like old school theme with like the old VHS cameras, and you know we love that over here at Next Mood Swing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I'm excited for that, and I'm excited. I heard the Beyonce stuff already on TikTok, and it's everything. Yaya, she has a song called Yaya and Spaghetti. Mm-hmm. 
Beautiful. I can't wait. And then Jolene, she does a little remix of Dolly Parton. Oh, she, oh, reads really? jo- she reads Jolene down. So oh, my God. I, mm. I, she, you know, she can give a good read. Okay. Mm-hmm. So other than that, <laughs> let us know what shows you guys are watching and uh, what, what we should be watching, if there's any good documentaries, any crazy things. I saw this one I have to look up on HBO Max. I just saw a video about it on TikTok, and I was like, wait, what is this scandal? Um, it's like a popular, it's a documentary about a popular TikTok page that okay. like, measures women. You can't perform on this. Like, it's they're singers, but you can't be over a certain weight. You have to send pictures in daily to be a certain weight. All the girls are dressed the same. Like, it's, is that what they're doing still in Hollywood to what? get into the clubs? To what? <laughs> it's kind of what they do in hollywood when you try to get into the clubs <laughs> i mean i don't know Those because hollywood, are the worst, huh? man. hollywood is way different now i feel like, it's like so different now. me and my home girl we was she's older and we went downtown we were like oh let's dance to some like trap reggaeton and we seen who was outside we was like oh i'm Let's just. I'm Look just gonna then. go home. I'm gonna go home. It's a whole new. Edible. It's a whole new world out there in Hollywood. <laughs> and don't you dare close your eyes, because you will get mugged. Okay. Um, oh. But yes, Nicola. I, oh my gosh, thank you this for is coming so through. Fun. Where can everyone yeah. follow you? Keep in contact. Like, do all your oh, things because you you're gonna you're gonna you start guys. your own thing back up, right? You know, maybe right here on Next Mood Swing. Like, this yeah. is the only platform I would do it at, okay? Like, I got to support yeah. you. I got to support your brand. It's everything. Next Mood Swing. We're on new levels in our lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but everything else has changed, but my Instagram's still the same. So it's at Since They Don't Play. Hey. Hey, Ronnie. Yes. And thank you guys Ronnie! for being active in the chat. Appreciate you guys. Seriously every week and i love you guys my I, my little next mood i gotta think of a name we gotta I call them like it. the moodies or something moodies. like that right jesse should Moody. have been on that one not house of villains he's not i would do the goat i'd be the goat i mean at this I mean, point reading that list i sure could be a part of the cast right yeah. um i can't um uh, but yes reunited <laughs> and it feels so good i know um, this was so good it was and uh yeah we're definitely gonna have you back what peacock is okay. so news whoa whoa ryan absolutely not he got all the well, shows he has all the housewives hey, what's his name? he ryan. he must not watch bravo <laughs> yeah i mean like you got to be a bravo head uh, you have to tbh you know but I mean, I know you, you over here with your little baddies mm-hmm. and i'm just fine uh <laughs> but y'all thank you guys by the way oh wait oh wow you getting after. what by the way, I thought of Courtney right away because of the Roni teaser. I'm so excited that Cy is back. Yes, I'm excited to hear what Courtney, because she wrote, she was like, because she's she not going to be able to be it. here, but she was really excited. Um, Courtney was so early into knowing how awesome Cy actually was for Roni. Yes, and I and again, I'm happy that they didn't change the cast up. I like that. Well, maybe I, I'll watch it. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll give a little, I'll get the first little episodes of the first season. Yeah, no, the first I... season was good, uh, to be honest, but this episode has all the all-stars. Yes, we got Ronnie in the building. We had Liam oh, earlier. Yeah. We got Sensei back. All we needed is Courtney. Like, we can have the full, whole bang, shebang, okay? Uh, and mm-hmm. actually, I got to have you back, Nicolette, because guess who reached out and was like, I want to do the show? Drea Renee. <sighs> I love her. I know. Can we please do a three? A yes, three? A little. Can we have three on here? Oh my yes, God. <laughs> I love yes, her. Because yes, I literally still follow her and she's always, he, she be talking that talk, honey. She be Dre, I'm here for you. Period. But you. thank you guys so much. I We got to get ready for this Beyonce album to drop. And um, you guys can hit us up across all social media platforms at next mood swing and please if you have not go check out the first episode of the next mood swing podcast episode one dropped uh last sunday with julie from bad girls club she spilled now the uh, let me to be honest with y'all the audio sorry i didn't realize my wire was messed up but it, it fixes itself later into the episode where all the tt is so we got it fixed and then i just filmed the second episode which will air this sunday but until next week Peace.